This is going to be a Tesla autonomous drive. We are starting the drive here in Arlington, Virginia, and we are going straight into Washington, D.C. So buckle up. Here we are about to take the exit and get onto the bridge. And we've got FSD in control. Hopefully no takeovers here. I have taken this bridge a few times before and it has prevailed every time in the past. So I feel pretty confident, should do good. All right, so check it out. We are getting on the Teddy Roosevelt Memorial Bridge, which is getting me right over the Potomac River, uh, right into Washington, DC. We wanna take a look how FSD does some of the lane switching here on the bridge, which is coming up right now. And pretty scenic drive here. We've got the Washington Memorial straight ahead. We got the Kennedy Center to our left. Lincoln Memorial to our right over there. Um, all over the Potomac River. A lot of people out there kayaking, canoeing. I see some yachts out there too. It's pretty cool. Uh, FSD doing a fine job switching lanes here on the bridge. Um, and let's see, I've got to take this exit here. So let's see how it handles this. Here we go. Did a little lane switch in the middle of the exit, which I'm not too mad at but it's really smooth. I have to say, I, I personally couldn't have done this any better. Here we go. And it's gonna put me right on the Rock Creek Parkway. Let's see how it does this merge here. All right, notice how it says photo enforced under the speed limit sign there. One great thing about FSD is it won't speed unless you make it. So if you're, you know, heavy footed or you, you know, find yourself speeding, maybe getting tickets a lot. Autopilot FSD can be a fix for that. And, you know, just kind of set your speed and you won't get any tickets. But yeah, I have to say really good job um, so far with the drive. Coming up is going to be the most challenging part. So buckle up if you haven't already, which you should, because Tesla FSD will not work if you're not buckled up. Um, and I think that's a great feature. So here we go with this really curvy left yield turn, which we want to yield to the pedestrian, which we did a great job about. And then continuing as soon as he safely passed. So we do have to also merge for these cars coming in here, which wow, FSD did a, eh, did a good job, but the person behind me wasn't too happy about it. I mean, shoot, if you got the computer safely cutting you off, that means you're driving pretty slow. All right, so looks like we can continue here on this right. Let's go ahead. Had some debris there in the road. FSD actually navigated right around it really well. And I have to say, I mean, for tight areas like I'm on right now, FSD can handle it um, really handling these tight turns perfectly. I have to say I'm, I'm really surprised about that. But yeah, I want to uh, see how it's able to kind of get me on the Potomac Parkway over here and uh, kind of wrap up the video there. So let's see, here we go. It is a no turn on red situation, yet we got a lot of people turning here. Not sure what's that all about, but here we go, green light. And let's go. Nice. It did account for the car on my left hand side, which was also making a right. And it did it really nicely. All right, so I gotta say, this is uh, one of my favorite scenic drives back here in DC. Rock Creek Parkway, uh, Potomac Parkway. Is, it's really, it's a nice, gorgeous drive. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. No takeovers this entire drive. I had FSD handle it. Um, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, Tesla DMV. We've got a lot of uh, FSD beta videos coming your way from the DC metropolitan area, Northern Virginia and Maryland. So yeah, if you're a local, make sure you subscribe. Drop a comment below if there's anything specific you wanna see. 
I will be kind of mapping out some more challenging courses for FSD to take. Um, I'm, I'm personally thinking like, um, of course, narrow backways, but I do want to put in a little bit more of a neighborhood driving. So to show you like everyday real life situations, uh, how it handles itself with people walking. Ooh, we got a nice little alert there. Not sure exactly what that alert was for. Wow, I almost took over there. As you can see, FSD did a whew, little bit of a sharp turn, but no need for a takeover there. But yeah, um, as you can see, I'm gonna be putting it through some more challenges. Uh, it definitely, um, definitely took a pretty tight turn back there, but still handled it pretty well. I'm not sure what that alert was about. Maybe it was alerting me about the tight turn coming up. So here we go with another tight turn. And I have to say, yeah, FSD doing a good job on these narrow roads, but I would like to see how it handles itself more on um, neighborhood roads with stop signs, cars parked on both sides kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe. I'll be bringing you more videos like that. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day.